Now this is a very interesting video. This is a behind the scenes of the music of Fontaine. This is one of their first sort of videos like this for, for Fontaine, of course, because Fontaine being so new. I have always wondered how they come up with the songs, how they orchestrate them exactly. So I've been waiting to watch this one for a while. Let's check it out. Especially with uh, the departure of Yiping Shin. Oh, this is like behind the scenes, behind the scenes. 30 days of the Fontaine Live Symphony performance. Oh, so it's at home? Damn, look at his setup! Oh, that's yeah. He's also a really good composer as well. Oh,我们会格外注意蒙德的中世纪风气型区分，在乐器和古典上，既要保证有统一连贯的欧洲风情，又需要有鲜明的风丹特色。<laughs> All right, what are we gonna do? Wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry to, to pause, but was that? Oh, that was feminine. Okay. Hmm.在进行创作之前，IP跟我们分享了枫丹的设定与故事，包括城市的风貌结构、人文氛围与剧情走向。这些素材呢，也激发了我们对音乐的。Just the Creation meeting. The underwater music is really good. 水将枫丹分成水上、水下两部分。水上部分，我们更多选择经典的欧洲乐器，例如曼德林、European instruments, 鲁特琴、维尔琴等等。同时，我们也尝试为枫丹注入一些浪漫气息，比如 romantic feel。时尚感的爵士元素。I'm Robert Ziegler and I'm the music director and conductor of oh. this recording session. As I huh. understand it, each version of the game that comes out takes in a different sort of part of the world, a different culture. So this time it's 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 fairly western. In addition to the symphony orchestra, there's also some Baroque music. Uh, some huh. instruments, harpsichord, lutes, and things like that. Whereas the last time, it was centered more around the Far East and the Middle East. So we had yeah, very exotic definitely. Of ouds and uh, very East loud and, and eccentric and that, you know, enthusiastic. You never hear alongside a symphony orchestra. So each time we come to record a new score, there's this really fascinating mix because they're they're using the symphony orchestra to sort of lean into a different yeah. uh, global culture. It's uh, very accurate. Very jazzy stuff that's that's really wonderful. There's more cabaret stuff and then there's just really big, grand, generous uh, sort of sweeping music. So I'm very interested to hear uh, yeah. what it sounds like that's awesome. when it's put together with the game. Because like, what, trying to explain Genshin to a music musical composer wouldn't be too hard. Oh. Yeah, exactly, yeah. He just singing right then and there. To finish the project. Yeah, I mean, pretty much it's just the environment is supposed to match the sound, essentially. That's how you could explain it to like a new composer. If somebody joined the team to work on the game. In the German and Austrian music. That's the inspiration. 
，在枫丹大世界和人文典中仿写各类古代音乐风格与题材，包括文艺复兴时期的牧歌。It's always nice to have a blueprint. 以及刘特琴作品。Or like a reference point. 在创作主城音乐时，除了使用近代欧洲的乐器体现城市白天的朝气蓬勃以外。It's like, what do we want to bring to life? Oh, okay. 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 Oh, okay.
婚姻中，我们主要对一些要求对词无法完美呈现的部分进行修正，比如音高、节奏、细节上的一些调整，往往需要大量的时间。Yeah, when do they when do they start? Like a year in advance? They already doing that one. 的交流会更高效准确。同时，音乐宣发的同学也在同步推动着枫丹交响乐的现场和 MV 的拍摄。I'm really excited that this is the occasion where finally all the musicians come together in one space. And for this concert film, after weeks and weeks recording the music part by part, separately in studios with very small groups of players, finally we have them all in one space together. Ooh, so it's like the first time. Time these pieces of wow, dang, what the heck? And you can see that on the musicians' faces, actually, they're so excited to hear the sound of all the. No, they're extremely nervous. We also participated in the music production of the MV recording. Oh, but it's okay. So it's just like film. And the recording process and the filming process. 这次去英国的经历对大家而言也非常特别。They've been all over the world at this point. London. 需要亲身体验才能有所感知。是的，包括当地的。They went over to. 也包括当地的美食。原神大部分创作是比较传统的管弦乐，因此每个人的创作特色反而会显得更加重要一些，让大家发挥各自的特点，然后融入到我们构想好的大方向中，反而可能会起到意想不到的效果。我们也和旅行者一样。未来还有太多迎接冒险的机会。哇 ！Where'd they go last time? So that's very nerve-wracking to get to that point, huh? Because like I thought they were practicing the performance the whole time, but no, they are making the music as they go, and then by the time the Symphony starts. They had pretty much just finished up making the music piece by piece. One person's at home working on their, you know, guitar riffs, and someone else is working on the accordion part. Someone else is working on the, you know, violin and or like the glass. Was it glass harmonica? I think I say I'm not sure how you say it, but that glass instrument the guy was working on. So everybody has different pieces, and then by the time they put it all together. They're there in real life, you know, together. So, I don't think it's like an audience kind of performance. I think it's more like a, like you said, written storyboard. You know, it's being filmed、uh, for our pleasure at home.、Um, it's not like more of a, you know, everybody's there watching. That's probably like a later thing. But yeah, I didn't realize that it, it worked like this. I thought they were going to the studio to record bits and pieces, but it looks like they're at home in their own little. Homemade studios, obviously with COVID and everything like that, it, it makes sense that to have that set up at this point.、Um, but yeah, I guess that kind of you know that makes it pretty pretty easy in terms of like getting it done and not having to get up and go to different places. But yeah, you know, and, and I was gonna say too, I like how I'm not sure if Robert is new to Hiya Mix, but like if somebody was new to Hiya Mix. How you would explain Genshin's music to somebody? It wouldn't be too difficult, you know. I mean, you just like kind of give them a quick little visual of different regions, and then kind of like, you know, let them listen to the music from each region, and kind of like give them that idea, like, hey, the region in the game is referencing, you know,、um, China or not China, but not the whole place, but. You know, like medieval times with Mondstadt, or like Middle Eastern with Sumeru, and you know they would kind of get the gist very quickly. Like, oh, okay. Depending on what region we're in, the music will sound different depending on where we are. You know, so、um, as he brought up in his in his speech, but so yeah, so Fontaine's very romantic, jazzy. It's very、uh, subtle, but some a little, little bit of、uh, danger in it as well. But and very classical, and I think I think I anticipated that when it was going to come out.、Um, I knew after Sumeru came out that Fontaine's music probably wasn't going to be on par with it, not quality-wise, but just 
because they're two different kinds of music. You know, Sumeru was very bumping, it's very exciting, it's very loud, it's very in your face, it's very fast paced, high tempo. And I knew Fontaine was probably gonna be very quiet, very classical, very jazzy, very subtle, you know. Um, so I, I, I kind of knew that wasn't gonna be, you couldn't really put Fontaine and Sumeru against each other because they were gonna be so different, you know. But that's what makes each region its own region, so. I like the way it turned out. But I learned a lot from this video. It was a very insightful video. Um, a lot of European style. They, they, they take it into this one. But, yeah. And I didn't even think to think Mondstadt was like medieval, but that makes sense. And I gotta get more familiar with these composers as well. I rambled on for way too long. The point is, I enjoyed the music, and I learned a lot from this video. So, that'll be all for me, and I will catch you guys in the next one.